you found some kind of bone. Bone. Look over there. There's another. Yeah, who says a skeleton can't leave a trail? Come along. Maybe we'll find another one. Oh, there's another bone. Where? They're ahead, listening for the moonlight. Oh, so there is. Looks like old bag of bones is going to pieces fast. Oh, so am I. Teenager found a skull on a stick. Authorities eventually located the rest of Bradbury near where the skull was found. This case is absolutely insane. It's a breaking case that involves a satanic goat head and a woman's head on a stick. Hello, my name is Holly, and this is the Murder She Shed, the place. We discuss the dead right from my she shed. Come join us sometime. Let's get right on into it. On July 12, 2021, a young teenager decided to go for a hike at Greenbelt River Trail Park, located just south of Mitchell, Iowa. As she was walking, she seen in the distance something strange. As she walked closer, she realized it was a head on a stick. Only a human could have placed a skull on a stick. She was horrified. I can't even imagine horror on finding this. She quickly backed away of this terrifying discovery. She made it to an area that she could get her cell reception and called her mom to tell her about the discovery. Her mother advised her to get back to her vehicle and come home. After she hung up from her daughter, the mom contacted the sheriff's office. They quickly went to investigate this weird discovery. The skull was sent to the Emmy's office, where at first they only knew it was a female. Additional remains were found scattered throughout that same trail. So, the rest of the female's body, I suppose, was found. Then, on February 2nd, 2022, a woman was reported missing by her family. They stated they had not heard from her since April 6, 2021. This was 22 when she was reported missing, almost a year later. I'm just curious, why did the family wait almost a year to report her missing? I mean, there has to be a reason. Like, maybe she didn't hang around with the family that much. Maybe she kind of kept away from them. And maybe they didn't know she was missing. I'm not sure. It's just weird. It's just really weird. But the family did provide dental records and DNA samples, to which, well, they did match the girl that was missing. It would soon be known that the skull belonged to Angela Nicole Bradbury, 29 years old. She had last been seen on April 6, 2021. The day before, on April 5, 2021, Angela was seen in jail. She had been arrested for trespassing after being found in a car dealership in Mason City, Iowa, after the dealership was closed. Angela was taken to jail that night, but released by the morning of April 6. During that time, a man was leaving the jail after attending an arraignment he had went to. Somehow, the man and Angela met while they were there leaving, and Angela would get a ride from him to an associate's house around 2 that afternoon in order to clean up and change clothes. This would be her mistake to take a ride from this evil man. It is unclear if Angela had known him in the past or not. The associate said she had seen Angela leave with a younger white male, and then she said she never seen her again. She had no idea who this young man was, and they had told her that they were headed to St. Ainsgar. I'm probably not saying that right at all. Ainsgar, Ainsgar, Ainsgar. Sorry, Iowa. Something like that. I'm just going to say St. Ansgar. April 5th was the last day she had posted anything on Facebook, and she was very active on social media. The man she hitched a ride with was 23-year-old Nathan James Gilmore. After Angela's body was found, he became the main focus of the investigation, and authorities would soon learn some very disturbing details. Authorities were able to obtain Google records from his phone in which he had sent his ex-girlfriend's new boyfriend a message that read, You'll be looking like the body they found outside, Mitchell boy. Bold of you to assume I'd be 
running when you don't know I am behind you. I D G A F what is in your pockets. Be like messing with the wrong character if you think money going to get me. Die with a what in your mouth. I don't care. LOL. I'm in my pocket with my knife and the bubbling noise air makes through the hole in a neck before it reaches the mouth makes me hard. Guess me off. You want to see a dead body? Find me then. You got patience. I am always down to through good days, boy. Behave yourself. I would hate to see your kid be a bastard like ravens will be. The date of this message was about a month and a half after Angela's head had been found on a stick. The most upsetting part is when he discusses the gargling in someone's throat after he sticks them with a knife and how he gets off on that. So disgusting. He is not a serial killer. He would have been if not caught. Authorities interviewed Gilmore on August 19, 2022. He told authorities he was in the park the day they had found the skull and even described the skull and had talked to the officers at the crime scene. Can you imagine how terrifying that news was for the teenager that found Angela's head? He told authorities that he heard about the case through media reports and denied knowing or seeing Angela. As the interview continued, he finally admitted to picking up a woman from the jail, but denied knowing who she was. He did give a description of the woman, which did match Angela's description. He at first stated that he took her to a house and left her at the house, and then he headed to work. After learning that Angela's associate stated he had left with Angela, he changed it to after they left the associate's house, I dropped her five blocks away at a vague location in Mason City. He stated after dropping her off, he then went to his parents' house in St. Ainsgar and then went to his job and worked a five-hour shift afterwards. He went straight home where he then spent the rest of the night. Investigators went to his workplace where they learned he worked from just 7.03 to 12.01 afterwards attending his arraignment and did not return until 4.29 and only worked an hour before leaving. Investigators obtained Gilmore's GPS records from his Facebook account and it showed that he was located on the trail in which Angela's skull was found around 7.21 p.m. on April the 6th and left the area around 8.37 p.m. On August 19, officers got a warrant to go into Gilmore's house. A weird drawing was found attached to a whiteboard in his living room. This drawing was of a satanic goat head in the shape of a pentagram, with what appeared to be blood splatter on it. Written on the drawing next to the goat's head was numbers, creepy numbers, that would tie him to Angela's murder. The first numbers were 0406, which is the date of Angela's death. 590, which apparently coincides with an urban dictionary acronym, meaning someone is tired of living. I actually had never heard of this 590 number in the urban dictionary. Maybe you had. The last numbers were 43.3 minus 92.8, which are coordinates to the Greenbelt River Trail Park in which he had dumped Angela's body. Gilmore has been charged with first-degree murder and is being held on a $1 million bond. Nathan Gilmore had moved into the neighborhood roughly six months ago and rented a house there. They say he mainly kept to himself and would only ever see him when he would sit on the porch. They also say the property he rented was owned by neighbors to the left of him and added he would come and pay his rents and not say a word before heading back to the white one-story house. Gilmore also apparently had a cat with some neighbors saying he went through multiple cats while he lived in the house. He absolutely sounds like a very evil man, and I wouldn't doubt if there are not more victims out there. Angela sounds like my kind of girl. She loved animals, especially dogs, and she had a little chihuahua named Batman that I bet truly misses her. But I do wonder what happened to Batman if they didn't even report her missing for a while. Angela was known for her smiles, hugs, and special little giggles. She always took up for the underdog, so... Today, we take up for Angela by sharing her story and hoping that 
Some kind of justice is served for her gruesome murder. I will finish by saying this is all alleged until Gilmore's case goes to trial. Prayers to the family and friends of Angeles. This is just a short little case I wanted to bring to you guys, so I'm going to follow it when it goes to trial because it's interesting to find what the details of this story are. Um, Just a strange case that I wanted to get out to you guys. And I hope y'all have a blessed week. I love y'all. Y'all know it. And my bloopers are coming now, as always. And if you are new and enjoyed my case today, just hit that subscribe button. I love all y'all and I appreciate all you guys. Y'all are so amazing to this Southern girl. Couldn't make it without y'all. Of Mitchell, Ohio, Iowa. Where am I getting Ohio? Missing by her family. I don't know the story behind that one. It could be a million ways. Let's just say they were headed to St. Onsgar. I'll just go that with that. 23-year-old Nathan James Gilmore. Nathan James Gilmore. Gilmore. Why can I say Gilmore? Gilmore. Gilmore. I don't even know what I'm saying today. I D G A F. What is in your pocket? Then you got patience. I am always down to through good days. I have no idea what this. This guy cannot speak English apparently because I'm so lost in a lot of it. You might hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to. If you don't like my accent. If you don't like my crazy, then don't worry about it. Teach their own, I suppose. I have birds going crazy out there. I filled up that bird feeder and they're just going all kinds of crazy, which totally messes up my ADHD. Like there's two red birds flying across. And that messes with my head, I swear. You might see them coming up behind me. I don't know, it's so bright behind me in the sun. You can't see much. But my boo-boo's coming. He says bye. He loves y'all and hopes y'all have a blessed week. He don't like to look at the camera. He likes to look at mama. (laughs) That's okay. We love him anyway. We love you. We love you anyway. Okay, we're going to get all this hot sheet shit. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed week. Like I said, bye.